What's up, YouTube? Hi. It's FG Spotlight. I really don't like that name. <laughs> it's way better than the name you came up with. Whatever. If you think of a better one, we'll do a vote again. I'll win again. and I mean... If you guys have any idea for a better name, comment down below and let me know. Because he has no creativity. No. I had to think about that one. But anyway... It's the end of the month, and it's also Easter. So, happy Easter to you all. Slash beginning of the month. Slash beginning of the month. So, our video is a little bit late, and I know this, because shit, shit does happen. <laughs> but, anyway. So, we copy a little bit off uh, another YouTube YouTubers, Ashley and George, a.k.a. Talk Movies with Us. So, because she got her pile, I got my pile. My pile's bigger. My pile's better. Your pile's more expensive. That's why it's better. <laughs> but anyway. So yes. You want to go first? Got my toy back. Got my Switch. So yeah, originally you guys seen in the previous videos that we have recent, we bought the Switch. But with all great being an adult things, <laughs> crap happens and you have to sell stuff that you don't want to. So we got it back. Finally. If you haven't played Mario Odyssey yet, I need to buy it, but I rented it before I bought it, so I'm going to buy it. Amazing game. You have to play it if you like Mario. Name a bad Mario movie, a game. Mario Golf, Mario Tennis. I haven't I, played Dr. Mario, but I'm pretty okay. sure it's not good either. But I bet tennis and golf and all that it probably has a huge following. Not my kind of thing. Just because it's Mario. Yeah, right. that's kind of culty. Yeah, true. So, Mario Kart that I'm the queen of that Josh will not play me in. She cheats. I don't cheat. I'm just good. I beat her in David Buster's Mario Kart. That doesn't count. I won the second game after I got hold of... Because it's weird. It's like you're actually driving, but you're not driving. So, it took me a minute to get used to that. Mm -hmm. Whatever. My turn. Do those. So, so this connect uh, uh, collection update is pretty much all over the damn place. And the uh, pop characters, games, steelbooks, and I also bought a uh, Logitech webcam for me to do twi uh, Twitch streaming, but it doesn't work on a PlayStation. So I haven't decided to either return it or keep it until I get a PC tower. So we'll see on that then. But anyway, these are two pop characters that came out recently. And that Melissa decided to buy me because I wanted them. And I only want these two. Because I don't like the other ones. And that is the Velociraptor. All that glare. Here you go. <laughs> it's dinosaur. Sound effects. You just seriously raw with the, with the YouTube audience? It's dinosaur. It's a sound effects. Wow. I question our, my love for you now. <laughs> Okay, and we also got the the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So the 25th anniversary. And no, we're not going to get the 4K Steelbook because I don't like 4K. I don't believe that it's a real upgrade version of Blu-ray's 1080p. I roar at you. He yells at you. Yeah, I'm the dork. Shut up. <laughs> so anyway, yep, two pop characters. I'm not going to get the other ones because I only like those two. And then I got Steel... At the exchange, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is like 40, 30 bucks on Amazon, brand new. Without the slip. Without the slip. So, 14? It was 18. It was 18? No, it wasn't it was 18. 18. Yes, it was. It was like 14. It was 18. We'll say it was 17. It was 18. Whatever. It actually looks really good on Blu-ray. I was nervous about it with Maleficent's like smoke and her effects and stuff. But the animation looks really good. Which one's older, that one or Snow White? Snow White. Snow White, I've heard, looks like crap, so I refuse to buy it. That's probably the last Disney movie where I'm going to get in the collection. So I'm just happy to get this out of the way. Because it's Sleeping Beauty. And it has one of my badass, one of the badass villains I'd like out of Disney. And yes, I am a grown man, and I do like Maleficent. She's pretty cool. I'm going to do my one steel book. Okay, I'll do mine. So I got this from one of the guys in the Blu-ray group. So, so thank you for this. We trade. I traded the regular slip 
and also the Emory for the Best Buy exclusive steelbook, which I was extremely happy because I was actually trying to get all the steelbooks of uh, Quentin Tarantino's movies, and that is the Hateful Eight. That glare, man. I got to work on that glare thing. Sorry, we have Vampolina playing in the background. Yeah, for the, for the little one. I have not even watched this movie yet because it is two plus hours long and she's not going to sit down and watch this with me for because Here, I'm going to say this right now you make me watch it with you you have to watch Gone with the Wind you know how long this movie is? no how long is this movie? this movie is incredibly long where's it at the bottom? I see singing in it no there's no singing where's the where's the time at? where's that say in the back? it's never in the same place for movies it's all over the damn place anyway it's, it's like three plus hours long there's an intermission in this no Okay, no deal. No, you still gotta watch the Evil Dead remake. You still gotta watch a bunch of other movies that we had to trade off on. But yeah, I got a Hateful Eight, and I'm happy about it. Now I gotta get Pulp Fiction. 233 minutes. I start to get in Glorious Bastards and Steelbook. And I gotta see what else, what other movies that he has in Steelbook. Uh, so I'm happy about that. So, alright, go. I just go out the window while you're doing yours. Fine, I'll go. No! I have my steel book. Damn it. Star Wars, The Last Jedi. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry, I'm going to do some spoilers right now. No. I said spoilers. No. Why? No spoilers. Wait until Wednesday. For Plot Hole Wednesday. More of like an appreciation post. This movie was awesome. But yeah, a lot of people talk crap about it. I don't understand why. I mean, maybe there was like a high expectation. Cause I don't. I liked. I liked better than the first, um, Force, Force Awakens. Awakens. Oh, here's the back of it. I just wish it kept the whole villain cover like the Force Awakens did. There was oh. character growth. Hopefully, was... Captain Plasma is still alive. Better you be alive. You just said no spoilers, and you're oh, gonna shit. say that. <laughs> My bad. I renege. Can I renege that? <laughs> but yeah, we're going to have an episode of Plot Hole, went, Plot Hole Wednesday on Last Jedi. Hopefully this Wednesday coming up. I don't know any really... I, mean, I guess I could rewatch it and find some plot holes, but... Yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to lock mine a couple down for me. Mm-hmm. Go right ahead. Go I right got... Spoilers. I think this movie I could count as my guilty pressure... Uh, pressure, pressure, pleasure, pleasure, because I don't understand why you think it's a guilty pleasure. It's not like it's a chick flick or anything. Does it classify as a chick flick? No, that's what I'm saying. It's not a chick flick. Oh. It's like I, a drama. I think I lost some man points in the in this. There's a lion in the movie. How do you lose man points? I don't know. <laughs> I got. We bought the zoo. For some reason, I liked this movie the first time I've seen it, and. A dad buys a zoo to make his kids happy. What is there to be ashamed about in that movie? I think the only reason why I like this movie so much was one is because when I was younger, I always wanted to own a zoo. Okay, so where's the guilt? Where's the like? It's like you're saying, "Oh, my favorite story is West Side Story." I haven't even seen that. No. <laughs> Whatever. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more of my movies because her pile is actually a lot smaller than mine. Mine was more expensive. Yes, that's which. Uh, I got the. I'm gonna start collecting all the DC anime films again, so, so I can uh, have them all. And I know most of them, especially the ones with the slipcover, are gonna be expensive as hell. You fine. You got a good deal at over the exchange. Yeah, for these two. Yeah. Yeah. I got happy as hell when I seen them, and the slipcovers for those two are, are in mint condition. But anyway, I got the DC. Green uh, Lantern. Green Lantern, Emerald Knights. I still need to get the other one, but I still have to find a slipcover for this one, and I have not even watched this yet. I'm so sorry, since like April like, Galicia's stand-up part, that was just I can't take Green Lantern seriously anymore. What kind of man has power from a ring? No, what kind of man with a ring has power? Nobody. I don't see no ring. Really, you're gonna shut up. Just don't even. But yeah, I have to see it. I have to watch it. I've seen the other one of. Uh, Green Lantern's first flight. So, I if you have the slipcover for extra or anyway, let me know and I'll we work some kind of deal out or something. 
Because I really will have, I want to have all the DC films complete. Why are you doing that? Because your pile's huge. I don't care. That's what she said. Why are you looking at your piles? <laughs> what kind of chicks are you into? Apparently you. I'm not looking at your piles. <laughs> Other DC film we got is Justice League Doom. I had I had it originally, but with no slip, and the slip is in mid condition, and I love it. You gotta say doom. You gotta. The slip cover is in boss, especially right here. Because Batman's on it. Whatever. And the other one that I did not like this one at first. I don't know why, because I'm not a big fan of Superman. Because he's like you know an actual superhero. No, he's extremely overpowered. <laughs> extremely, extremely overpowered, and. He's a, his weakness is a rock. It's kryptonite. It's still a rock. And those kryptonite. I get, found Superman Doomsday with the slip. You know how hard it is to find this with a slip? Especially in the condition it is right now? I was so happy. And I literally only spent like probably 15 bucks for this for this one and and uh Justice League. Cheap. So alright. These movies, I... Uh, not this one. I'll show this one. I bought the Incredible Hawk with the uh, Phase 1 slipcovers. You just had to have that. It was $10. What's the last time you see the Marvel movie? It's $10. Especially with this. And I'm mad the slipcovers kind of... Mm. So if you, if you guys have no idea how I can fix that the slant in this, let me know because I do have Wonder Woman that like that, but it's a lot worse. So it doesn't even want to fit in the damn turkey bag. So just let me know if you have, have any way I can fix that because it's really bugging the hell out of me. Okay, these movies I bought. Uh, I gotta do two more. These four movies I got from a uh, family video for Liberty. I got, I got them for thirteen bucks. The kid in the candy store. Yes, and they all got slips. Life. There's a sticker in the back. I didn't know about that. I got I got I got OCD with stickers, extremely bad, extremely bad. But anyway, life is you know everyone thinks this is actually a prequel to the Tom Hardy Venom movie because the same company that's in this is also in there. No one knows. Still have not seen it. We gotta start watching movies that we buy. Stop buying bad movies. How's life? This these movies are bad movies. You haven't even watched them. First of all, I said I'd watch this next movie with you. We just haven't watched it yet. Because we were trying to finish The Good Doctor, and then we got to watch... Series Unfortunate Events. See, we have a list of things, okay? Sorry that, you know, we have to watch our list of things before you, we watch the stuff that you keep buying. Yes. If, by the way, if you haven't watched The Good Doctor yet, that's an amazing, amazing medical show. Yeah, and I picked it. You're welcome. No. We both agreed on it. I told you I wanted to see this, and you said, eh, fine. I said, hey, do you want to watch The Good Doctor? And you're like, yeah, I heard about that. I said, I heard it's good. And then you watched it. How's that? Okay. No. You're trying, you're trying to take credit for somewhere that I said a couple it months ago. If it makes you feel better, fine. We, we, we will watch it because of you. See? No ring. Still got the power. <laughs> we also got the, the Great Wall with uh, Matt Damon. She heard there's aliens in here. It better be no goddamn aliens in here or I'm going to be mad. <laughs> because what kind of alien society is all is basically just like some kind of dragon thing. And they're getting killed by swords and bow and arrows. So you're saying aliens can't look like dragons? No. You've I'm heard so of the serpent people, right? No. The reptilians? Yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the aliens should be so goddamn advanced, a bow and arrow should not kill them. I like how you yelled at me about cussing in the last video, and I haven't said, I think, one bad word. I know, I've been cussing all, all damn day. <laughs> Has the Viper in it. Some anyway, we Thrones. move on. All right, go. Oh, so, got this movie because it's one of my favorite, um, I don't really classify it as, but it's a Christmas movie. Made him watch it with me. I He's, found it for her. Yes, and it's in color. And it has a slip. And it has a slip. It's a wonderful life. Good moral movie to watch. You know. That's long. It's so good though. Why why are all the old movies so damn long? 
because not a lot of movies were out and you're paying to have a good time. So if you're going out, you're going out. Like you're going to go see a three hour long movie. This is the part where, you know, that little star from the 90s said, uh, The more you know. Yeah. What's up, 90s kids? All right. Uh, I got this one because why not? It was cheap. And I do not have high hopes of these because. Um, he just bought it because the slip looked pretty. Probably. Probably. That's exactly why he did I got that. the Scar Johansson live action to go show the show. He just liked the way the slip looks. Okay. It's so shiny. <laughs> okay. It is shiny, though. It, it is shiny as hell. Stop cussing. Ghost in the Shell is, is, one, is an old anime. And to make a live action of it... You're going to blind him with the light of the shininess. It's extremely hard. Especially when the next Japanese anime, move, the anime that's coming out is Akira. I am not, I don't even know, because that's, that's the godfather of, of anime. You cannot mess that up. If you mess that up, you're going to have, there's going to be hell to pay. It's really like the last airbender all over again. Oh my God. Or Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I, anyway. think I, I think I lost like five years of my life to saying that title. Anyway. Got a classic drama. Growing up, is one of my grandma's favorite movies. It's very sad. The Green Mile. There you go. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what's wrong with you. That movie's been out for a long time. It should be a lot of people should have seen it by now. Can I mean I can talk about spoilers? I don't care. Okay, if you haven't seen it, then that's your loss because this has been out for a while. You're gonna cry. Basically, it's about racism and the correction system. How is that when the dude has powers? I never really got that part. I don't... I mean, well, that part I was cool that's, that's a movie we got rewatch. But, like, I never understood that part. I was like, okay, cool. He can, like, cure people of cancer. Like, is he an angel? I, I don't... I don't know. Anyway, he's a good guy. <laughs> All right. The last movie we have of this episode, it is, she has not seen these, this movie, well not movies, and that's the Alien movies. She has not seen them because I have no idea why. So I'm not going to let her watch them until I get, I got to get Prometheus. So I, I, wa I want her to watch them all in order. Yes, baby. Recently, I watched Planet of the Apes, though, for the first time. All three of them? The, the new remakes, ones. The remakes. The remakes. The remakes. remakes. And she absolutely I was impressed. Loved You're welcome. I was impressed. My dude was... I don't know that dude's name. That actor. Gollum. The Gollum guy. Yeah, say, I like the monkey movie, too. Yeah, you did. They're apes. Okay. She, if, you, if you're going to be technical, you got to be technical. She's a baby. And she's going to know the difference between monkeys and apes. Okay, so I like the eight movie too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, I have not seen the Covenant, so I just heard mixed things about it, and she's leaving me. But uh, we'll see. I do have the other one. Oh my god, I, I forgot another movie. Hold up, give me two seconds. I can clearly see you. Ugh. Oh yeah, we did forget that. <laughs> I forgot about this. We got the Back to the Future 25th anniversary. We got it literally. Um, there's one of the boxes. Well, this is the first. I think it's the first release. It looks so bad. <laughs> Especially number two. There better not be no 4K release for this. At least I, it is not going to hold up good. But anyway. You're not going to complain about how big the box is? <laughs> and my slip down here is damaged. Yeah, so yeah. But anyway, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me tell me guys what you guys think about the updates we had today. And this being one interesting episode of this not even an episode. Of our monthly update videos. F G Spotlight. But yeah. Like always. 
Have a nice day. Well, I have no idea why I'm talking about this. But what anyway, are you, this a news is... anchor? 